I'm here with Mark Nelson, and Mark is going to show us how to create our own beads and pendants from found objects. Mark, right. this is a really cool process. It is cool, and these are actually uh, rocks and shells that I found. So, um, and I also found a great way to hold them while you're trying drilling. How do you do that? Well, I have a, a thermal plastic that I can warm up, create a putty, place my piece in there, and then when it cools, it's like rock hard. So, let me show you how to do it. Yeah, and we can hear that your water heating up over here. So right, it has to be a certain a temperature. When you start, it's going to have these like little pellets in here, and you put them in some hot water, and you go in there and you can um, stick them together into a putty. So you just kind of squish them with your tongs. Squish them with your tongs. How do you know how many to pour in? Yeah, just a bunch. Okay. You know, you just take a handful. Because you can reuse this, right? Right, exactly. You're not going to waste it. Um, but it'll come out, and it'll be a pliable plastic after you squish it together. And you have to work fairly quickly because as it cools, it'll um, harden up. Which is no big deal. If it hardens up, you just go ahead and reheat it. But you can take your stone or shell or any object, come in here and form it. And now what I'm doing is I'm making a well to, for the water. Because when you're drilling shell and stone and glass. You always want to do it underwater. You want to do it underwater. And that's to keep the, the piece cool and the drill bits cool. Is keep that right? the bit cool. And also, particularly for things like shell, you want to keep the dust. You don't want to be the oh, dust. Right. So by doing it underwater, you're going to take care you of it. You eliminate that. that. No dust mass necessary. Right. And I do want to let this cool on a piece of steel or a hard surface and set that so aside. So it's nice and level. Right. And then I have a drill press. Um, this is equipped with a, uh, a core drill. And a core drill is essentially just a tube with diamond plate on the end of it. So different from a regular drill bit that looks sort of like a screw. This is hollow on the inside. This is hollow on the inside. Definitely want to use uh, safety glasses still because it could spray water and dirt into your eye. All right. And we'll just turn this on, get it going. Now as you're doing it, you want to start real slow because it has a flat tip, it's going to want to wiggle, okay? And if you're trying to be accurate, you need a really light touch. Now, can you see that milkiness coming out of the hole? Yes. That means it's grinding. I'm going to use a light pressure, and I like to go and pulsate. What I'm doing when I lift up is I'm clearing it from debris. There's little dust and things in there. So you're allowing it to get out of the way. Right. That and I like to watch the swirl. <laughs> it's mean, really cool. And uh, medium to light pressure. You can you do this by your feel and the sound of the motor. The motor starting to so bog down. So it probably takes some practice to get the hang of it. It does. And depending on the thickness of your item, uh, this can really take anywhere from a minute on to 30 or 40 minutes. So, so if you pick a really thick stone, you're going you're gonna to know. You're, you'll spend some time with your drill press. You will. You will. And you'll know when you're done. Um, what I'll do is all of a sudden the, the bit will jump. And that's how you know you're through. That's how you know you're through. But you wouldn't necessarily need to go all the way through. No, you can do some really cool designs by not. The diamond tip is something that will you could create, use to create patterns, right? You can. You could make interlocking circle pattern on the surface of the stone. You, you could. I, I do have an, an example of that too here. Yeah, let's take a look while you're drilling. So this is one that's drilled all the way through. This one took about 40 minutes. That one took about 40 minutes. And then this one has the circle just on the surface, but then you drilled the side here so you could add beads or dangles here. Right. So as we were talking, we finished. All right. And you can do just pour this off. So you're just dumping out your muddy water? Mm hmm And if we take a look, you can see there's our hole. Now actually, what, if you stop by halfway through, you can see you can see the core still left there. So that's kind of neat. That could create some really interesting design possibilities too. Definitely. How do you get this out? Do you have to warm it up? You just warm it back up in the same pot. It'll get a little, it'll maybe wait a minute or two, and it'll apply, and you can just totally reuse it. All right, and you yeah. could do the same process with the shell. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. All right. For the shell, I got a little different system, um, only because shells can be delicate, and I don't want to push them into that putty. I have a sponge and a, um, a yogurt cup, and it works really well. Let me get glasses back on. And shell will take really um, hardly any time at all. Do you put this underwater as well? I do, and uh, I have to raise oh, this so up you have to just raise a little your bit, drill. which is nice because you'll have different thicknesses of material. Make sure that's going to go all the way down. And it will. So I'm just going to put it right here at the top. Okay, and when I push down, see the water acts like a oh, pump. Oh yeah, that's right. Your sponge both protects and mm -hmm. provides the water there. Give it a little more speed. So a really delicate touch on these. Very delicate touch because um, you can't. You're going to. 
The bit's more of a grinder versus a cutter. All right, that's a great tip. Didn't quite get it. I'm gonna have to lower this back down just a little. That's okay, so what you would do is lower your drill press. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're gonna see you drill the hole the rest of the way through here? Yeah, you got time? Sure. Cool. Yeah, you can see the sediment swirling mm -hmm. up to the surface of the water. Yes, and that sponge really gave a lot. So. Perfect. And, this, and the water kept the dust from getting into the air and breathing the dust. Right, and it's ready to add to your jewelry. Right. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Thank you.